now we can start to write our codes for the amortization schedule. Okay, the idea will be something like this. Okay, for the payment, for the column for payment, I will start from the first one to the last one. So means I, I will use for loop here. Okay, and the last number will be depending on the total number of years and the payment basis. If let's say the years here is 5 and the payment basis is quarterly, so it will be 5 times 4, the total of 20 payments. So it will be, so I need total number of payments. So it will be equal to, let it be n equal to, okay, it will be how many years will be y times how many times per year, so m. Okay, so my for loop will be starting from the first one to the last one, which is m. Okay, then for the second column will be the payment date. Okay, the first payment will be made. Okay, after a period of the start date. Okay, so for this case, we can use, okay, show sheet. Okay, before that, I forgot to write the first column already. Sheet one dot cells. Okay, first column starting from row number eight. So, will be I plus seven. Okay, starting from eight, first column. So will be equal to the number here. Okay, then the second column will be second column cells i plus seven column number two will be equal to the next payment date. So will be date at okay interval means that the duration for the current payment and the next payment. If let's say it's yearly payment, that will be Y, 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 Y. Okay, if let's say it's quarterly payment will be Q, monthly payment will be M. So means that this is not fixed actually. So what we can do here, we have to introduce a variable. Maybe I will use interval. Okay, ITL. Okay, so the next one will be number. So means that how many interval do we need? Okay, so if let's say for the first pay for the first payment that will be one year after so will be one here so okay maybe I will use n u m a very able to represent the number of payment that we now number of duration that we need okay so if let's say we go to the second year already then should be number times two means that two times we go for the second time and then if let's say we go to Go for the third year then will be times three so it's actually equal to the number times the for loop here so time i okay then the date okay the date will be the start date okay the start date is s okay the start date is s so we type s here okay so means that we have to define itl and num okay it will be under here okay we choose the case Okay, if let's say it's yearly, then the ITL will be equal to Y, 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 Y. Okay, this is a syntax that's fixed by the Excel. Okay, so semi-annual will be, okay, we don't have any syntax for semi-annual. Okay, so we have to make use of the month. Okay, month here. Okay, quarterly, we have an index here. Syntax here, the Quarterly will be Q. Okay, monthly will be month. So will be equal to M. Okay, so the number of period required for this one will be equal to 1. Okay, semi annual. Okay, because we have only one, semi annual will be 6 months. So number will be equal to 6. Okay, quarterly, okay, also one. Then monthly will be also one. Okay, then we've done this part. Now we go to the next column. Okay, the next column will be the beginning balance of each period. Okay, the first balance will be equal to the loan amount. 
okay the first one will be equal to the loan amount so will be a fixed value so it's not at the should not appear in the follow-up so will be here okay sheet one dot cells okay row number eight column number three should be the first value okay the loan value okay after that should follow sheet one dot cells okay this one is sheet one dot cell okay because row number a already filled by the original loan value so we'll be starting from the nine row okay plus eight that will be the third column will be equal to okay this value the next value will be equal to the one before okay so this one is sheet one column row number eight column number one two three four five six seven so will be sheet one dot cells okay i plus seven okay column number seven okay since this calculation should be done before we calculate the value for this one so we have to first write the calculation for this part before we can do this part okay otherwise every time will turn out to be zero so we have to first do for the do for this value okay before that to know the ending balance we must know how much we pay okay so means that we have to first find the payment okay for the payment we can use the the excel function application application dot worksheet function dot pmt okay the fat first value will be the interest rate the interest rate here will be r okay the interest rate will be r but this is annual interest rate we have to consider the number of compounding that will be r over m okay the second value will be the total number of payments that we have so it will be n okay then the third will be the loan amount okay if let's say we want the payment to be in negative form then we make then we put a positive value here if let's say i want positive then i will add a negative okay then all the scheduled payment will be exactly same as pay okay so the scheduled payment will be column number four so sheet one dot cells okay also i plus seven but column number four will be equal to pay okay after that we look for the next column will be the principal repayment okay so the principal repayment will be the payment value minus the interest payment for each period okay for this interest payment will be equal to the beginning payment times the interest rate over the number of compounding so will be equal to sheet one dot cells okay i plus seven okay the fifth column will be equal to the payment minus the interest paid okay so the beginning beginning will be sheet one dot cells i plus seven the third column okay times the interest okay r over m okay after that the interest payment will be equal to this value it will be equal to this okay okay after we done the six column then we go to the next one so the next one will be the ending balance so this ending balance will be beginning balance minus the principal repayment so it will be the third minus the fifth so the seven dot cells i plus seven the seven will be equal to the third 
i plus 7, the third, minus the fifth. i plus 7, fifth. Okay, then we done. Okay, then we can copy the next value. Okay, so we, if we done, then we go to the next value. So we will be next i. Okay, then after finish everything, we have to close the user form and we type unload me. Okay, we can insert a command button here so that we can call the code easily. Okay, we can write under the caption. Caption, okay, we can type modization schedule okay we can change the color here okay and then the font okay time news norman okay both then done okay to write the code we can double click okay so we type user form one dot show okay